Okay, you guys, today we're doing lab one, which is called file structure. And basically what we're going to be doing is setting up a file structure for the entire semester. You're going to be saving this file structure on your portable hard drives. So it's really important that from next week forward, you bring your portable hard drives every Thursday, whenever we're in the computer lab. This is where your Lightroom catalog is going to be saved, as well as all of your image files, okay? So it's a big problem if you forget your hard drive on Thursday. I encourage you, if you want to get a locker here, you can to keep things on campus. However, I'm assuming you'll be moving your hard drives back and forth from school to home. So really important that you bring them on Thursday. The first thing that we'll, you'll be doing is downloading a file structure I've already set up for you off of the server. To access the server, you want to activate the finder first. Then you're going to choose go, connect to the server, or the keyboard shortcut, command K. You're going to type in this exact address. You can also shortcut and type in simply photo.ccsf.edu. Then hit the plus button so that the server comes up as a favorite if it's not already listed. I'm going to choose connect and it will ask me which server do you want to mount onto your hard drive. I'm going to select photography and say OK. OK, not business but photography. The photography server pops up and here you, ha you see my name is the second one down in orange, our folder is orange, and then the read only folder, which is where you're going to find the lab for this class. Lab zero, which is file structure. Inside, or lab one, excuse me, is file structure. Inside the lab is going to be the PDF um, that I just handed out to you in paper form, and something called your underscore name. You're going to go ahead and take your underscore name, the whole thing, and drag it to the desktop. And you're going to write your name on it, or your first initial last name. You have up to 32 characters to use. So if you have a really long name, you might choose to use your first initial last name. Let's look inside. Inside this folder, this is what we call the root folder. We use a root folder because it's easiest to back up and to drag onto your hard drive. So within one folder, your root folder, you're going to keep all of your pictures. The first file is going to be where we save our Lightroom catalog. I don't know if we'll get to that today. We'll see. The second folder is where you're going to click and drag your scavenger hunt assignments, okay? Your scavenger hunt pictures. Your images should be loose like this. So when you click and drag your pictures into assignment one scavenger, they should be floating. They should not be in another folder, okay? To click and drag pictures off of your um, CD-ROM or what, or, um, camera disk, you're going to go ahead and plug in your card reader. If you don't have a card reader, you can check one out from the issue room, or I have one as well. Um, if you have your images on CD-ROM, you're going to insert the CD-ROM on the upper right-hand side of your computer. You can feel the slot there on the iMac. The printed side of the CD-ROM is going to be facing you when you insert it. Once your disk mounts, either your camera um, CF or SD card or your CD-ROM, you're going to find your pictures and you're going to select them by shift clicking. I would shift click half and drag those first and then shift click the other half just to make sure. So I'm going to click on them and I'm going to, you can see that I am in column view mode. I've selected my file and then scavenger and I'm going to click and drag and hold and drag them into this column. That's the first step, is putting your pictures into your file structure. There's a second 
folder here for your lightest subject assignment. There's a third one here for a color temperature lab, which we'll be doing. There's another one for the gray card assignment. So if you have gray card images, which I have somewhere on um, my disk here, then you're going to click and drag those images, those JPEGs, um, from the folder that they are housed in, these, and put them into this column, the one that's activating the gray card. Okay? Also on this root folder, um, this root folder right now is approximately 260 megabytes. So there's a lot of content in there, which is why I need you guys to get a big portable hard drive. So inside this root folder is also some sample images. We're going to be referring to these through the semester as we build our skills, so please don't throw these away, okay? Don't throw any of these folders away. When we get to the point where you're doing new assignments, for example, assignment three, storytelling, you'll be adding new folders and placing your images into that folder, okay? This is your Lightroom file structure. Very important that you keep it tidy, you keep it in order, and you do it exactly as I've laid out here. Once you become more of an advanced Lightroom user, you can make modifications to it. Next, uh, the next lab is going to be about setting up the catalog, which will be saved inside of the catalog folder.